sometimes we don't want to return the entire object matching a particular condition we want to return just a single property but that's fine we can simply uh, get rid of the problem by uh, for example saving the uh, object into a variable and then returning object dot property so for example first of all let's create a variable let good player equals then players dot find we receive an individual player so what is the the condition the condition is player dot score is greater or equal than score right so now if we return good player it will return the first object which score is about the threshold in that particular case it will return the first object correct but then obviously because that's an object we can access as we already know any property of the object so for example i can access the name correct or i can access the score right or uh, whatever we want right and obviously that works fine regardless of the matching criteria so if we change the condition if now we want to access the first player which score is at least 85 it should now return Ben. There's a different way to approach that problem, which is we can directly return everything in line. So we can do return place.find blah blah blah. And eventually, because that will return an object, so that will return the first object matching the condition. At the end of the line, we can do we can type dot name and it will just display the name. That's up to you whatever you think is, is more readable. So in, in that particular aspect, you, you need to write less less code, less lines, right? But at the same time, this is a bit less readable because uh, this is a bit mask. It's a bit uh, hard to realize that you want to access the name, right? Unless you pay attention to the end of the line. And there is another advantage of creating a variable, which is if you do that, if something doesn't work fine, at least we can add a breakpoint on line number four, and now if we run the exercise again, we can debug it. So we can add the breakpoint alignment 4 and we can inspect the value of good player. So then we can do it kind of uh, uh, divide and conquer, right? So we can see if the problem is on line number 3, depending on the value of good player, or otherwise the problem is the way we access the, the property value on line number 4.